Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Alice Welch. I'm starting a, um, a YouTube channel and a website called Pima Image. And Pima Image is a, um, it's a platform that's going to really kind of cater to the plus size girl, uh, what your needs are fashion-wise, beauty-wise, health-wise, travel-wise. And I'm going to be doing um, uh, on the YouTube channel every Wednesday and every Sunday. But on Sundays, want to do like something live. And we're going to call it Soul Sunday. Soul Sunday, S-O-L-E, to kind of cater to uh, what you might need internally. Because when you when you feel good about yourself internally, that kind of exudes outside and makes you feel better on the outside. You know, when you, you know, when you, your um, haircut is fresh or your um, you just went to the beauty shop and you just got your nails done, you just got a pedicure, you just feel like you're on top of the road. You don't really want anybody to touch you. Just you want people to look at you like, look at me, but don't touch me. You feel good. Well, that's how you should feel internally about yourself. If you look at yourself in the mirror and you see someone that's not deserving to be loved, not deserving to be valued, not deserving for the very best in life, then we have let's let's take a ride. Let's let's go on a journey. Um, let's um, let's 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 take this journey together. And that's really basically what I'm going to be focusing on. And tonight, every Sunday, we're going to have a special guest. And tonight, I'm going to let her introduce herself. But tonight is going to be a Javonda Lewis. She is She Slayed Lingerie, and she is a uh, licensed bra fitter and a foundation uh, uh, to show you the proper foundations that you need. And for a plus size girl, that's crucial. Why do I say that's crucial? Because you want your clothes to look your best and you want to feel your best. And there's nothing, nothing more unflattering for, and well, that's for any, any size. You know, especially if you're heavily endowed up here, you know, you, your, your bra, you, you know, you're, you're, you're sagging or, you know, you got bulges here. Uh, you just want to feel, you know, you just want a nice, smooth, clean look. But before we get to that, our topic today is perfecting your foundation, protecting your found, uh, perfecting your foundation. A couple things I want to just uh, point out and and and, sh and tell you about some of the things are that are to come. The first thing is you should always keep your eyebrows trimmed, trimmed and clean because your eyebrows are the foundation of your face. Your eyebrows set the tone. Your eyebrows, that's the first thing. And even with the mask on now, the, you know, everybody is more fixated on your eyes. So your eyebrows kind of kind of tell the story. So you want to keep your eyebrows uh, neat and trim because that's the foundation of your face. Okay, you want to and you want to start with clean skin. You want to get your skin clean. You want to get a, a good skin regimen. Uh, if that's something that um, you're lacking or there's a void in your personal skin care, um, leave me a comment. Uh, inbox me and uh, let's let's get together and let's talk about that. OK, so you want to get clean. You want to get in a, a system, especially now. Uh, the younger you start, the better it is. The younger you start, the better it is. Now, I am 63 years old and a lot of people, you know, tell me I don't look 60, 63. But one of the reasons I don't look 63 is because I take care of my skin. Right now, I don't have on any uh, makeup. I don't have on any makeup. And I want to show you how if there's a difference, because sometimes we're all busy. And I like I like makeup. I love makeup. I sell I sell makeup. And so but sometimes when you're you know, your day gets busy and, you know, the kids are running late. Your husband had a, a errand for you to run before you got ready to go to work. You don't have time to do your regular routine. That's why it's so important to keep your eyebrows trimmed and neat because it's the foundation of your face and you want to keep a good skin regimen. So when you don't have time to put on the makeup and you don't have time to do some of the things that you need to do, um, you can just uh, put on some lips or put on your mask and go. Now, you might have some challenges with your skin. We all do sometimes. Uh, those are some of the things as well that we can, you know, take the time to work on. Um, 
a lot of it is just investing in yourself. We as women, we wear many hats. We're, we're wives, we're mothers, we're aunties, we're grandmothers. But a lot of times on that, that those levels of care, you know, I'm going to take care of my husband. I'm going to take care of my children. I got a granddaughter that I need to take care of. I got to help my sister with her kids. Boom, 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 boom. And so eventually the care of yourself just kind of goes out of the window. And so we have to, you have to uh, learn how to take care of yourself, invest in yourself, take the time to take care of yourself. Okay. So, and then the other thing is, uh, eventually in a couple more Sundays, we're going to be doing building your wardrobe. So for some of you who are, you know, busy executives or climbing the ladder of success, but don't really have the income that is indicative of the life that you want to live right now, or you just, you know, you just kind of want to revamp your wardrobe, but you don't know really what to do or how to do it. We're going to touch on that. So I'm going to give you one tip for right now, and then we're going to go into um, Miss Javonda here. Um, it, during each season, you always want to invest in one signature piece, one signature piece. Now, this is if you're building your wardrobe. Now, if you got it like where you can just get everything in big womp, uh, I, I applaud you. <laughs> but everybody doesn't have it like that, you know, especially if you have children, you have kids, you got responsibilities. But you want to build your wardrobe because image is everything. Image is everything. Even with COVID going on, people got, you know, more into uh, Instagram and Facebook and, you know, uh, TikTok. And I don't know what the other ones are, but, you know, image is everything. How you present yourself is everything. So you want to pick one signature piece for each season. Now, that signature piece, you should be able to complement it with, a, with several other outfits. So no, I'm, I'm not saying that you go out and buy one expensive piece and that should do it. No, you want to get one signature piece that will complement everything that you have. Like this jacket that I have on, and I'm not a name dropper because I, I buy, I, I shop at Goodwill. You know, I'm just keeping it real. But this, this happens to be a Michael Kors jacket, but it's gold. It'll go with white. You can put it with blue jeans. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Uh, and it's never going to go out of style. Your signature piece should be a piece that will never go out of style. It's not trendy. It's never going to go out of style. It's a little bit chic. It's a little bit classy. It's a little bit fun. It's a little bit of everything. And it will complement more than one thing in your wardrobe that you currently have. And again, we're going to uh, talk about that building your wardrobe. Uh, in a couple more sessions uh, here to come. So um, trim, keep those eyebrows neat and trim. Keep those eyebrows neat and trim because they are the foundation of your face. Keep that skin clean. Uh, get a regimen that you um, that you that you uh, that you feel that is good for your skin. Again, if you need some help with that, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. And then get one signature piece for each season. For each season, you should have one signature piece. Like this, this particular jacket, right now it could be spring, it could be summer, and it could easily mold itself right into fall. And guess what? I only paid, uh, I, I, I paid a, a real, real low amount for this because it was at a, I bought it at a boutique and it was, it was during the season change. And I just happened to get it at a really, 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 really reasonable price. So your signature piece should always complement some other things in your closet. You should be able to wear it with multi other outfits and be able to transition into each season, like from spring to summer to fall and then possibly winter. So um, today we are going to perfect our foundations. We have uh, Javonda Lewis here with She Slayed Lingerie. She is going to show us how we uh, should we should know how to properly fit ourselves in our bras and our foundations and why that is so important. Why is that so important? Um, learn so, I've learned so much from her in just these couple of days about bra fitting and why a proper bra uh, is very important as far as your posture and everything. So I'm going to uh, uh, introduce her and she's going to tell herself a little bit about herself and why she started uh, her, uh, her her business. 
and then she's going to uh, get into some very informative information that you don't want to miss. Hello, Devonda. Hi, how are you today? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for coming today. Thanks for having me on your show. I appreciate you for inviting me. <laughs> so, I hope everyone is watching and is ready to learn about bra etiquette. Not so much about bras, but just proper foundations, girdles, slips, all the shapewear that we have to offer. So, let me just grab... A sculpting slip is what I'm going to show you guys. So, there's many different types of slips that we feature from She Slate. This one is called our body sculpting slip. It is a microfiber slip. It is a slip that is perfect for maxi dresses and all kinds of just dresses that you don't that you want to have as an essential piece in your wardrobe, it does not roll and fold on you. It will lay it perfectly on your body. It some of the moisture out, so it has a good wicking to it. So when it's hot, you don't have to worry about. Oh my God, it's so hot up under here. So the material like, feels really light. It is, but it is light. it's stretchy. It's very. It's, it can bind you. Now, I, I do have one question. In the back, it seems like it kind of, because I have this problem with the roll, you know, like right back here. Will that kind of diffuse will, that a little bit? It will, it will <laughs> diffuse it some. And it's also based on what bra you put with it, too. Mm -hmm. That will help it. So if you have the white bra on with it, mm -hmm. um, it'll give you a small back line. Okay. Can we show on the back just to show them how Absolutely. the back looks like? It's, it, it looks like it sits up a little higher than most slips and bras, so it kind of gives you that extra. I don't know if you all suffer with it, but I have the, the rolls in the back. Not and so too. sometimes with my, <laughs> my blouses and my clothes, you can see that little extra roll. So, But this looks like it sits up a little higher than most slips or like camisoles, and it looked like it would kind of help detain some of that a little bit or retain a little bit of it. The material is very, very light, very, very stretchy, but it... It feels like it would, you know, keep you you bound as well. Mm. So, and what sizes does that go to? This one goes up to a three X, four X. I sell from a small to a three X, four X, and this one, this one is a three X, four X. So, anybody that's size three X, four X, that should cover up to a size twenty six. About okay. Um, but yeah, it's very nice one. A lot of people don't like wearing slips because they feel like it's going to roll and fall on them. Mm -hmm. And so wanted to get something that would benefit you, especially it's sundress time, ladies. Let's get these maxis out. So you don't want everybody seeing from here to heaven up under there. So we what about tummy and hip control? Does that kind of this does help the, with that? Mm -mm. It does um, the sculpting. So it kind of gives you like overall a smooth finish, but it doesn't do does as much control because uh, it doesn't have the paneling in it, but it definitely does it more on the sides. Okay. So you don't need a control, I would say a control top penny, some type of um, maybe Spanx or any of those good control top shapewear panties to wear with this slip. And it's going to give you an absolute smooth finish. Okay. All right. Now, do you have the, the foundation where it, you know, like if, if somebody doesn't want like a full slip, the, you know, the like the girdle slip. The, or the half slip or the girdle that kind of comes up that does not roll? I do have the half slip. I do have the girdles. What else do I have? Some people only want the piece for the midsection, the clincher. So that's to, if you want to wear a shapewear panty and you just want to focus on smoothing out your midsection. I do have that one as well. Okay. All right. And that's a fun piece because sometimes we don't want to put on the whole piece. We don't want the legs and the 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 bra piece of it. We just want either the bottom or yeah. the top. I know for my age, it's, it's a lot. It gets hot. <laughs> that's, and that's why I went to go to the microfiber too because. That's why people, I like the material because it was really lightweight. And it, but it seemed like it was still bind you but it was kind of it wasn't heavy now the lace ones will will bind you but it will be hotter 
like you said. Mm -hmm. But they definitely will hold you in together. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What else you got for us? Okay, so Oh, I do have one more question. I'm sorry. Sure. The panty girdle. Like, you know, um, like sometimes when your jeans are a little tighter and you know but you don't want the, the kind that comes to the knee. Like uh -huh. my mom and my aunt, they used to wear the girdles to the knees. Do you just have the panty girdle that's kind of yes. will bind you and keep you kind of tough, you know, your tummy and your, your hips and, and, and your uh, bottom kind of? Yes, I do have those as well. Okay. Because people, I'm one of those people like that. I don't want the, well, it depends on what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. But like it's getting hot now. I don't want the legs. It gets so hot, especially like I told you with the lace and then the silicone in there. It gets very hot. Mm -hmm. I want to see smooth finish. Not so much. I'm not going to say on my leg, but in my midsection. So I, I got those control top panties mm -hmm. to wear if people don't want to wear the full like slip like that. Because mm -hmm. it does get hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have like, you know, like for a plus size girl that's getting married and maybe wants to wear a strapless dress? Uh, what do you recommend for her? Because um, it doesn't seem like it's a whole lot out there for um you know, a plus size woman, you know, it, it's your, it's your wedding, it's your special day, you know, and if you, if you want a strapless dress, if that's the dress that you choose, you want the proper foundations to, is that something that's readily available or something that you would recommend uh, it, more so than, um, it depends on the woman, like how mm -hmm. she's made the size mm -hmm. of the woman, the dress, because you can, you can get, um, a corset, like if you're a real, if you are a real busty woman, you can get a steel bound corset that's lace, but mm -hmm. depending on the cut of your dress, it makes a difference. Now, what's steel bone, if you don't mind me asking? So, steel bone is a type of material that's inside of bras and corsets. It holds everything in. A lot of some bras still use the plastic and they tend to pop, break. But with the steel boning, it does not break or anything. Oh, anymore. is that like the stays? They used to call them stays and bras, or you know, the stays, the the, the things yes. on the side. Okay. And, and they um, they were used a lot in the 1940s, 1950s when they made corsets and things, and it's pre it's to pre prevent you from being able to move inside of the. Uh, bra or the corset and to hold everything in. So now in a steel bound corset, it won't have that bulge. It'll just be a smooth finish. Okay. All right. Uh, now, do you do uh, pantyhose or um, um, like what do they call them? Not pantyhose, the 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 leggings that go all the way down to your ankle the, that the, you can wear with pants. The footless ankle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The footless pantyhose I haven't brought those in yet. I'm working on those, mm -hmm. but that is something that I am. Well, not necessarily pantyhose, but you know, because some plus size women, um, you know how sometimes, you know, you get the veins in your legs or, you know, you get the dimples in your leg. Uh -huh. The girdle that kind of goes down to your oh, okay, like so. ankle. How far does your girdles go? Well, I have you know to, what I'm talking about? Cause you know, I know exactly just, what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I have some of those. I don't have those in plus though yet. Okay. Because that's hard to find, but we are working on getting some like that. Okay. But my standard girdles, they go down a little past the knee. Okay. All right. And that will kind of camouflage, you know, sometimes with, uh -huh. uh, especially because every woman, you know, every in the summertime, White pants, white looks beautiful on everybody. It really does. It doesn't matter <laughs> your skin tone or whatever. It's just something about when you put on white that just makes you feel like, wow, you know. But if you if you got the dimples in your legs or, you know, the deep dimples, you want something that can kind of camouflage that right. a little bit and, you know, still be able to wear your white pants. But I had never seen anything like that. I've seen them, but not really in plus size. So even I'm going to tell research. you what I do with white pants. Okay. So a lot of times people don't want to buy the the girdle um, leg thing because they feel like it's too thick with the silicone mm -hmm. that it's going to show up through like white leggings. So the slip I just showed you, they also have one with the legs, like um, the oh, microfiber God. legs instead of it being lace and it lays a lot smoother. So you don't have to worry about the folding and ridges. A lot of times people feel like it's too thick and because of the silicone, it'll show up through the pants. 
Okay. So that's an option. But that's a full piece. But then I also have the half piece. Okay. All right. It just depends on like what you want. Like some people want full body sculpt and I'm that person lady. I'm sorry. I need you to look at me and be like, what you got on? <laughs> I mean, well, that's, like, your business. That's, that's, that's your lifeline. <laughs> so it's like I want everything to lay smooth. I want as much, you know, I want it to pop. It's like, oh, you know, <laughs> let me see what she did more over here. So, yeah, I mean, everything smooth, top to bottom, especially like if you wear a dress. Let me tell you, ladies, if you have on a proper foundation, how your dress lays depends on your foundation. That is the key. If you have horrible foundation, meaning your bra, your panties, garter, etc., your dress is not going to lay good at all. It's just going to be humps and humps and humps and humps. So, as an example, you see how my breast sit all the way up? Proper foundation, ladies. Your breast should be front and center. They should be in front of you, not facing down to your shoes, your kneecaps. If your breasts are facing down with it just working on your back and eventually you're going to need back surgery your bra should be at the center of your back when you put on your bra the rest the middle of your back should have the back of your bra and then your rib case it should rest right at your rib cage it should not be able where you can lift this whole thing you cannot lift my bra yes you see how i'm pulling there is no lift there you should be able to only put two fingers on a bra Meaning right here, you put two fingers. That's right it. Right on the side. Okay. If you got where you can put your whole hand, it's time for a no bra, ladies. So you're saying it's not fitting you properly. It's no. too. It's too big. If that band, if you can fit your whole hand in your band underneath your band, mm -hmm. it's too big. It's not okay. holding anything. The support, you're going to spill out because it's not supporting anything, ladies. It's time for a no bra. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, like initially, from I'm gathering from what you're saying, when you first get your new bra, it should be a little bit uncomfortable. It should, it should be, be okay. It should if it's be too to comfortable. The point, then you've got the wrong bra. Right. It shouldn't be to the point where you're Excuse not me. in there. So, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, would you like some water? I'm good. Thank okay. You. Mm -hmm. Um, it shouldn't be to the point where you are suffocating. A, a new bra should never be uncomfortable with it's like oh my god I can't breathe but a new bra should never be so comfortable where you just could I could flip this whole bra up in the front it should not be action time for me just flipping up my bra it should never work like that a bra is supposed to support the girls and hold them in place you should be able to jump rope no matter how big you are you should be able to jump rope and the girls not flip out if the girls flip out we have a problem that bra not working for you it could be the bra that's the cut is too um short in the front and you're full of breast and it just hopped out mm -hmm. or it could just mean the cup is too small you're too busty for that type of bra now let me ask you since we're on this subject then so, like, if you, like, what's the difference? How do you know if it's the cup size that's wrong or the the width? Like, like you know, you were saying that they come up. Like, what if sometimes, like, if your bra uh, come, you know, like, you have it on and it seems like it's, it's rising up. Is that more so of your cup or could it be? Is it rising up in the cup, like, up, up underneath here? No, it just rises up, like, like, rises up. So, if it's rising up. Where I can put my finger underneath this breast right here. That cup is too small. It's too small. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you should fill out the whole cup. I should never be able to go underneath you and put my whole hand up under it. If your breast, if I'm touching your breast like right here now, like I'm going up under here. Mm -hmm. If you're touching your breast, the cup is too small. Okay. What about the straps? It Should it always be at the very or is that really based on your comfort or should it always be, you know, your, you know, your strap, should it always be? to the to the the most you know how sometimes the strap you can kind of adjust, adjust it where it's it. a little, little bit looser so if the strap should always be where your your bre breasts are like a front and center up front and center okay mm -hmm. it should always be front and center but it should not be digging in your skin if you are having it where it's digging cutting into the skin there's a problem you need to adjust your straps or it might not be your breasts might be too heavy for that bra and the straps will not be a good 
fit for you. Yeah. Because you need good straps, well, you need a good bra. Let's first start with having a good bra. Having a good bra means you have a good straps. And if you are a plus size woman, ladies, please understand. Understand that you do not want to spend an arm and a leg for a bra. But let me tell you, you cannot go to Rainbow. You cannot go to Walmart. You cannot go and get a cheaper bra when you are plus size because it's not going to hold the same way a better bra will hold you. You need the support. If you don't get it now, you will pay either now or later. The choice is yours, but you either will pay now or later. You need that support. Some of us needed the padding at the base to give us the lift. Some people might not need the lift. They might need to do an online bra, meaning that they just full busted. They need no padding, no lift, no nothing. They just need a bra to hold them in place. That is an online bra. Some women need a, a push-up bra because they don't have any um, breasts or they might have a bigger band, but they might not really have breasts. And so they need something to enhance their front features. So they get a push-up bra to lift what little they have to make them uh, appear as if they have more to work with. And that's okay. But different people need, you have to decide to wear based off what you need right. and your body type. But anybody that's full of breasts, they typically are going to go with a full coverage bra. Sometimes, sometimes they'll go with a back on that. So it'll be full coverage, back on that. And then depending on how full they are, they can go into a demi bra. Mm. And a demi bra is like a three-fourth quarter cup. It will cut off about right here. And the breasts, instead of coming all the way up, it'll cut off right here. Meaning some of your breasts will still be out, but you will still be able to fit in the cup. You shouldn't still have a bulge. That's what you're looking for. When you're wearing a bra, trying on a bra, look for the bulge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I do have a question. Um, sure. As far as underwire, you know, because a lot of, a lot of women tend to think that's a little bit uncomfortable but the underwire seems to give you especially when you're well endowed more support do you have bras that are just as supportive as an underwire but you don't have that you know underwire effect i do and i don't sell many of those because just me knowing me knowing what i know about bras Especially for a fuller busted woman, mm -hmm. she needs the underwire for the support unless she's had um, any type of breast surgery. If she's had breast surgery or she's had a breast removed, mm -hmm. then those type of bras I wouldn't recommend because of the metal over time will irritate her. Mm -hmm. But typically if you full busted, I don't sell many, but the ones that I do sell that's no wire, that's supportive is a Lomi. And that's that's all we at Shislay are planning to sell. Mm -hmm. That's a no wire that's somewhat supportive for a plus size woman. Okay. Now what about sports bras? Do you recommend those or I do. Um, you know, because I go to the gym, ladies, and mm -hmm. I can't afford to have not to flip now. Nobody's son, I don't want nobody's son. Nobody like, oh my god, I see her. <laughs> this would not be a Janet Jackson episode. <laughs> I mean, that would be a, a sight to see in the gym, but I do recommend sports bra when you are working out. And the reason I recommend you wear a sports bra mm -hmm. if you are working out, you need something. That's going to have total high um, control support. <clears throat> so when you are running, excuse me, if you running, if you are um, treadmill, anything, stair step, anything that's high impact, that's causing a lot of movement. You want to make sure your, your breasts are supported and in place. If they are not, what's going to happen is it's going, it can damage you. Because it's not supporting you for what all that movement and you don't want to damage any tissue or anything. You want to make sure that everything is supported properly for the type of exercise and things you are doing. Mm -hmm. So if you're exercising, like if you're doing jumping jacks, if you're running, Especially. your breast should not be jiggling or moving. No. You don't have the proper sports bra on. You need something that's going to give you complete control where you have no movability in it. 
Now, what about like the length of the bra? Because some sports bras just kind of cut you right at the very end of your uh, breast. And then some, does that make a difference at all? And then some of your sports bras kind of go down a little bit further for a fuller uh, woman breast. Does, would that make a difference or does that make a difference at all? For me, it doesn't make a difference. I haven't bought the longer ones. I don't usually wear stuff like that because I don't like the material. It's already uncomfortable and hot. Um, but for it doesn't the support, make a difference. Okay. No. It'll control your midsection, though, is what you're getting in. Mm -hmm. The longer line bras is designed to control the midsection. But then when you have um, workout pants, they help control top in there anyway. Yeah, and, and that's why I was wondering because sometimes you'll see the um, sports bras, but sometimes they're like right right underneath your breast. But then some of them seem like they're a little longer. Um, so I was wondering if that would make a difference in that's what you preference. selected. It just a per That's just a personal preference. And then for the plus size, they don't have a lot of long line like what you described. Because mm -hmm. those usually zip. They don't usually have a lot for that. We usually need the ones with the boning in it to hold everything more. Okay. Can you tell us why you started? You started this, this Absolutely. Uh, business? Absolutely. So I will give you a little bit of history about She Slay. Again, I am the owner, Javonda Ja is my name. Tell me your website. And my website is She Slay Lingerie.com. Again, it's She Slay Lingerie.com. On Facebook is She Slayed LLC, and then on Instagram is She Slayed underscore lingerie on Instagram. So, to give you the backstory of why She Slayed started, I have been a certified bra fitter since 2006. So, that means I've seen lots and lots of women and have impacted their lives and putting them into the proper fit. So, I fell in love with being able to make women look and feel good. And it, it just went on from there. So after my years of being a profit at Lane Bryant, Victoria's Secret, being a supervisor, I went on to corporate America and became a tax accountant. And I was not fulfilled. I still had a love for making women look and feel good. So I stayed working part-time as a fitter. So about two years ago, I started designing She Slay Lingerie. And we're here. Our mission is to create magic for you ladies, make you look and feel good. Just because you're a plus doesn't mean that you cannot be beautiful and bad all the way around. Right. Um, you want to show us some of the pieces that you brought? I mm -hmm. do. So. And now she showed us the sculpting uh, slip. Um. Ta -ta -ta! Well, I, mm -hmm. my ladies. So who said that you cannot be big, beautiful, and have a nice piece of lingerie? This piece here is very nice on. It's light. And of course, who doesn't love garters? I know I do. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a piece that was from my Valentine's Day collection that I decided to keep on as a regular because some women like red year round. And some only like red for Valentine's Day. So this was a, a piece that I added as part of my regular to give us plus size women something spunky other than basics, nudes, blacks, and whites. So that was kind of like my reasoning behind that. I wanted to bring some red, some pops of colors in. Okay. So is that one on your website in case someone's interested? Is that is that one on your website and is, on Facebook? This one is on my website and on Facebook. And what's it called? It's a uh, it's a red lace teddy. Red lace teddy, okay. With garters, so that's this piece. And then for the slip, you'll see the microfiber body soaps and slip that I showed you earlier. And then, who doesn't love sexy panties? Sexy lace panties at that. So this particular penny says "Seduce Me Sunday," and you can see. And what size do those go up to? Uh, these go up to a 3-4X. Okay. So everything I'm showing you ladies um, tonight goes up to at least a 3X or a 4X, depending on what it is. But most, well, mostly everything will go up to a 3X. Okay. One of my favorite pieces. Who doesn't love a sexy nightgown, ladies? Wow, look at that. 
It's got slits in it. Absolutely. <laughs> Easy access, ladies. <laughs> and it's just free flowing. I just love this piece. Oh, I see. Okay. And this kind of drapes in the front and your legs. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. to have your legs out on the side. Mm -hmm. And look, ladies, wait. The cups. Mm -hmm. Check it out. The cups. So this long lace nightgown is, again, something that you can wear. It's very nice on. It's light. It's comfortable. It's sheer. Let's go, ladies. And then here's the back of it. It's a deep back. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like got polka dots. It's like a sheer netting. You see that? It's pretty. Why, thank you. And then... We have some, um, we have no rompers in. Yeah, this is for cute. the singles. Mm -hmm. If you just want some, well, not necessarily for the singles, but if you just want something cute and you plus size and you just want chill back clothes, we have just everyday loungewear too. This is part of our loungewear collection. It's a long, cute. a long sleeves romper. Mm -hmm. It kind of feels like a t-shirt material. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. And then it's a deep V on both sides. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a one piece. That's and good. it's not real long. And then we have another fun piece if you don't like long things. A lady wore this as a shirt. Let me show you this. Oh. Got it? Okay. So this is actually a robe. That a lady wore as a shirt. It has a deep V cut on the front and the back. You can see it better right here. And it ties. And when it ties, it grabs just like this. It gives you the deep V straight down the front and back. Hmm. Okay. It's very nice on. So this is uh And that goes up to 4X too or 3X? That one, that one goes up to 3X. So okay. The long gown that I showed you, ladies, the short lace robe I just showed you, the those two go up to 3X, and the red teddy with the garters that I showed you goes up to 3X, and then the romper goes up to 3-4X, and then the pennies that I showed you goes up to a 3-4X. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have bras that go all the way up to an eye cup. And we specialize in European lingerie, Australia, and Colombia. We do some U.S.-based vendors. All of our brands are brand name companies already established. We just sell them. And then eventually you will be able to see the custom bras from Sheep Slate, which would mean you will be able to design your own bras and panties with us. Okay. So as a new, like a new customer of She Slade, mm -hmm. what would be the general turnaround for like, you know, if I wanted to purchase something, how quickly would I, would I get it? I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you don't have, you know, inventory, you know, all the inventory. Like, so if I ordered something, how long would it take to get to me? Actually, believe it or not, most of the inventory I do have. Oh, that's awesome. Most of it I do have if it's something that's like a custom order, like it might be that you want a specific color. If I have another color, I might not have that color in stock, so I would have to special order that one. But I typically tell you before you order, like, oh, I can get this, but it's a special order. It'll be a few weeks because it's, it's coming from overseas, just mm -hmm. depending on the item. And then anything that's in stock ships right away, FYI. Okay. So if you order today, if I have it in stock, it ships right out. Okay. All right. That's good to know. Any uh, other questions you can think of? I was trying to think. Uh, I know a lot of it you told a lot of. Oh, you know what you was telling me yesterday about the hooks, you know, where to hook the, you know, how to know how to like a lot of people put it in the middle or, or should be at the end. Where, where should we hook it at? So your bra, when you buy a new bra, it should be on the tightest hook, meaning the the hook that's all the way to your furthest right or exactly in the middle when you start going to the end it's time for a new bra because now it's not it's not gonna work for you at that end hook it's time to get a new bra 
because you should always be at the tightest or in the middle. Because it's and not as binding or the material has stretched out or... The material has stretched out and you might just be in gain weight where it's just not working for you anymore. Because in the beginning, if you ban a bra and you're on the last hook, you're not going to get any use out of that bra. Mm. If it's already at the last hook coming in. The only time, a lot of times people buy at the last hook and they want a specific bra is meaning they're not going to restock that bra. That bra is their exact cup and they're planning to put an extender onto the bra. So they want that bra because they're not going to restock it and it doesn't come in their size. But because they, it, their cup size, they plan to just put an extender on it to make the bra work. You can do it then like that. Okay. Now, and then also you were telling us last night about how to properly we put your bra on absolutely mm -hmm. so let's talk about that ladies many of us when we put on a bra we hook the bra and then we twist and shout twist 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 and then we pull up that is not the correct way to put on a bra ladies you are supposed to fall into the bra you lean for it like this you slip your arms through the holes of your bra and then when you do that, you automatically fall in the bra. That aligns your breasts in the bra. That determines how the breasts will lay in the bra. At that point, while you are leaning, just like I'm doing, you hook your bra just like that. It's hard at first. I'm not going to tell you. It took me years to learn how to do this properly without ripping it. But your bras will last longer. When you twist and pull, you are damaging your bra. You are damaging mm -hmm. the material. And what's going to happen is... Your breasts are not going to lay front and center when you do that. Your breasts are going to start pointing down because that's the way you lay. That's what you told it to do. But if you fall into the bra, your bra, your nipples will be front and center and you just rise up. You're automatically lifted. Okay. Didn't know that. Didn't yes. Know that. And you look so good, ladies. I'm not even, the third titty goes away. I would definitely tell you that. It goes away. It'd be flat and smooth because you fell into it. That's what's going to prevent the spillage. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I, I don't think I have anything else or any other. But if anybody else has some questions or um, can think of anything, She Slayed Lingerie. Is She Slayed Lingerie LLC on Facebook? She Slayed Lingerie LLC on and Facebook. And what's your email address? It's customer service at She Slayed lingerie.com so she slayed is with an ed on it so it's customer service at she slayed lingerie.com mm -hmm. and you can email me any questions you have if you want to know about uh different brands we sell and the sizing i can help you with that also ladies i want to just tell you i forgot to mention about the side bulge if you are wearing a bra especially plus size we get that side bulge you have to find bras with a thicker band to mask that to give you a smooth finish. And that's what you want to look for when you are buying a bra. You want a bra that's going to cover the backside and the sides to give you a smooth finish, not a bulge. Also, when you're buying a bra, especially when you're trying it on online, it might be a little harder because you buy the bra first and then putting it on. But once you're trying it on in the store, that's what you need to look for. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. You are our first guest on Soul Saturday Sunday for FEMA Image. And again, it's uh, it's just a, uh, a a joy to meet you. And thank you so much for the information. Again, if you're a plus size woman, woman, uh, the proper foundation is just crucial. You want to get the proper bra. You want to get the proper foundation so your clothes just look a little bit better on you. Uh, when you look good, you feel good. It, you do. It's just, you know, hey, don't, don't, don't come for me. <laughs> don't come for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't come for me. And it just makes you feel good. And as you stated, your posture is better and things of that nature. So invest in yourselves, uh, my sisters. Invest in the proper foundations. Yes, some of it may be a little bit more expensive. But how many times do we go to the drugstore or uh, go somewhere and we just kind of binge on magazines or, you know, stuff. And then before you know it, you just spent 40 or 50 dollars 
on some stuff. We'll invest in something that's going to last because usually when you invest in something that is a little, the, 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 uh, the quality is a little bit better. It's always going to last longer. Like she was saying, you don't want to go to Walmart and nothing wrong with Walmart, but you know, you don't want to go to Walmart to purchase your foundations. Um, unless you're, you know, teeny tiny, but usually if you, you know, if you, if you're a plus size girl, you just need that, you know, you need, you need that uplift. You need that. So I uh, just want to thank you again. Have a, just a, a little, some, a little, little something to say. Thank you for uh, coming today. I know you, uh, in these days and times you want to promote your business. And so I thought, you know, you know, you need a mask. You need a mask that says, uh, she slayed on it. So oh! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. Ha, ha. so she's got a mask. And that is compliments. If you've got a business, can, can you open it up and then show them kind I of. Sure, I can. I didn't want Thank to open your you. present. <laughs> oh, my God. She's like, definitely mm -hmm. in the house. So, so, if you have a business that you want your own uh, logo on, um, it's uh, on Instagram, it's brown sugar blings and things nicole will definitely uh take care of you brown sugar blings and things her name look is nicole this. tell her pima image referred you look at that that is really um and she does other things too but she um, slayed she slayed i just <laughs> thought that would be a little different maybe something that she didn't have like to do a little, little different things but uh check her out she's on instagram or if you you know can't get a hold of her that way let me know uh uh, message me hey i'm interested in getting some masks done for my business and then uh let me know and i'll i'll get you her contact information okay so thank you so thank much you, Alice. and then just want to say a special shout out to uh renita of be your own kind listen if you have a business and you are a ground zero or you don't know what to do you need to know her her name is renita it's be your own kind. Again, I think I shared my age early. I'm 63 years old. I barely knew how to text. So, you know, this, this technical thing is just kind of getting at me. And she kind of knows now because she kind of was in the beginning. She was using vocabulary that I had no idea of what she was saying. And she said, you don't know what I'm talking about. Said, yes, and no, I don't. But that's what I like about her. She's very patient with you. And she really takes your business and wants you to succeed. Uh, she just has a genuine concern about get, uh, marketing yourself and getting your business to where it should be. So if you're in a, in a position where you want to start your business and you don't know where to start or you don't know how to market yourself, contact her. Be Your Own Kind. She's on Facebook. She's on Instagram. Um, she has a website, beyourownkind.com. Let them know that Pima Image uh, referred you and she will take care of you. Absolutely. Uh, one of my slogans is get it done in 2021 stop sleeping on your talent stop sleeping on your idea stop sleeping on your invention stop sleeping on what god has told you that uh, you're supposed to have get it done in 2021 thank you so much for joining us today on soul sunday see you uh next sunday and uh hopefully there was something that you learned today uh, about fashion and, and about proper foundations, perfecting your uh, right foundations. I just hope you enjoyed yourself. I know we had a good time and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks, guys. Uh, PimaImage.com uh, is my website and also Pima Image on my YouTube channel. So uh, right now I'm doing a You Are Beautiful campaign. So uh, subscribe to the channel so you'll know when uh, these kind of events are, are going on. Pima Image is the YouTube channel. And right now we're doing a You Are Beautiful uh, campaign. And right now we're working on the, the internal. So, you know, if you, you feel good on the inside, oh, baby, you're going to be fabulous on the outside. See you soon. And thank you so again for tuning in. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm.